Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the National Intel Report. I am your host, John Statmiller, on this Tuesday. Tuesday, it must be Bob Chapman, Robbie Noel. It's the 25th of August, 2009. Gentlemen, good afternoon, Mr. Chapman. Well, good afternoon. It's very nice to hear your voice again. Well, and uh, pleasure is all mine, sir. Uh, how are we feeling? We over much the, better, much, much better. Good. I'm very glad to hear that. Robbie Noel out in Scottsdale, arid zona. How yes, you doing? Sir. How you doing? Great. Yeah. Tired of summer. <laughs> but but it's a dry heat. No, no. <laughs> this is sticky heat. Sticky. Yes. You, you got humidity out there? Yeah. Oh well. Can't have everything. No. But isn't the desert lovely when it rains? Absolutely uh, drop-dead gorgeous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what people do out there, too, in the heat, as they drop dead. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys, is everybody feeling good? Uncle Ben, Helicopter Ben Bernanke, Ben Shalom Bernanke, I might say, uh, has uh, just been appointed uh, the second uh, term for the Federal Reserve uh, Chair. Well, they had to do something to save the <coughs> bond market. Well, you know, the lack of change uh, shows strength and consistency, if you can believe that. Uh, he has been uh, responsible for the biggest uh, expansion of the Fed's power and uh, monetary stimulus in its 95-year history. I have a cartoon on my website that shows Ben Bernanke in a uh, chef's outfit standing in front of a burnt-down restaurant saying, never mind, I burned down the restaurant. Reappoint me for another four years. I was up on your site and I saw that. <laughs> well, uh, nothing mentioned about uh, Mr. Geithner as being head of Treasury. Uh, when's this guy up for stamp of approval, renewal? Uh, rubber stamping the theft of America. I think the more important uh, news slipped under the radar screen today that the head of the AFL-CIO is now head of the uh, New York Federal Reserve. You're kidding me. No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> what, what, uh, what is... You talk about uh, the, the marriage of thievery with thievery. Well, yeah. and, and, but what qualifications does this guy, being the head of the AFL-CIO, have uh, for the New York Fed? God only knows. I've, you know, it doesn't. You know, it doesn't take. It doesn't take much, gentlemen. If, if you're going to run a con game, uh, it's a confidence game. So who cares? You know, you just put the face up there that's going to work for you. They don't have to have any knowledge about anything because the, their policies are really not their own. Uh, they're being told what to do, so who cares? I mean, let's resurrect Mr. Parker of the Parker game Monopoly. Uh, we can put him in there. It doesn't matter. All right, we'll take the break here. Uh, we'll be back in just three. Mm, folks, we're going to have a good time today. Oh, by the way, the U.S. dollar is down, uh, 78 and some change. But it's okay. Nobody wants to deal with the dollar anymore. Nobody wants to buy our debt. So don't worry, America. We've got the printing presses. We'll just keep printing our way out of the depression. Yeah, we'll be right back. You'll have to buy from our cold dead hands. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, SteveVoss.com. Uh, that's V A U S, SteveVoss.com. Uh, he just released this. Come and, come and get it um, if you can. Uh, and he also did the Redux. Uh, and I reintroduced that back into the program as uh, intro to the program. Uh, we must take America back. Uh, and it's taken America by storm. People are loving this song. Uh, it's got a beat, and it's easy to dance to. At any rate, uh, back to subject at hand, gentlemen. Um, so we got Uncle Ben back in the driver's seat, uh, the bus that's going over the cliff at full speed. But there was something interesting that happened, uh, Bob and Robbie. Uh, a federal judge is saying that... Uh, They've got to release the reports here on these emergency bank loans, where the money is going. The Federal Reserve must make records about emergency lending to financial institutions public within five days because it failed to convince a judge the document should be exempt from the Freedom of Information Act. Uh, Chief U.S. District Judge Loretta Preska rejected the central bank's argument that the records aren't covered by the law because 
their disclosure would harm borrowers' competitive positions. Where did we hear this before? In front of the banking committees in Washington, D.C. And Uncle Ben uh, is the one that said that, as well as Tim Geithner of the Treasury, uh, because this, this disclosure would harm borrowers. Now, Bob and Robbie, what borrowers are they talking about? How is it going to harm them? Uh, we're trying to track and trace where all this money is going. What are they afraid of? Go ahead, my son. <laughs> After you, sir. Age before beauty. All right. Well, uh, the, the, the reasoning behind this is that if uh, banks are seen coming to the discount window for money, it's a sign of weakness, and <clears throat> people might sell their stock, and people might withdraw deposits, and people might stop doing business with those banks for fear that they might be in financial trouble. That's the excuse. It doesn't wash, of course, and the judge, judge saw through that, and obviously she was not controlled by the Illuminati. And so uh, we'll see if... Uh, if Busy Ben uh, uh, jumps in his helicopter and uh, uh, goes to appeals court to try to stop this thing. Because what's going to happen <clears throat> is we're going to find out that all of the anointed ones, these are the banks, private equity groups, brokerage houses, throughout the world, but mostly in Europe and the United States, the piles and piles of money that nobody knows about. And those 282 sponsors over there in the House of Representatives are going to say, 1207, 1207, 1207. They want it out of committee, and it will come out of committee. And it will be passed, veto-proof. That's what's going on. That's yep. the import of this thing. Do you think it would uh, shed any light onto the... Uh, Bundesbank story. And that was my son? Well, as as, as you know, uh, I mean, his name, was it Ron Kirby? Who, uh, Rob, who, Rob, Rob, Rob Kirby. Kirby. Who did the story that, uh, that uh, the Bundesbank put its gold up at, as collateral at the New York Federal Reserve. And that the uh, discussion, the frosty discussion between Merkel and Obama in the White House was based on the Bundesbank wanting their gold back. Remember, and? remember that? Yes, and the reason why uh, was that they thought that maybe it had been sold. And I'm sure... The Illuminists in New York called up Mrs. Merkel, and I'm sure the Rothschilds chimed in, along with their other Illuminists in Europe, and said, Shut up, lady. So the point the gold's is... gold's been sold. The gold's been leased. It's gone. Tough. So the point is, is in that report, if, if that was the case, and, and, and the Fed had made good on, on uh, the dollar amount, you would see a huge payment to the Bundesbank. Would you not? Yeah, and they would do that through a swap agreement. Oh, okay. And, and they would hide that. Or they would lend to them and not tell anybody. I'll give to them and not tell anybody. They just get, you know, crank up another, well, let's say it's about um, $30 billion, and they would just transfer it to their account in the bookkeeping en entry. That's it. It's just like the banks on this uh, uh, fractional banking system. They don't have to go to the Fed when they're using 10 to 1 or 50 to 1 and get money to put in their bank. They just make a bookkeeping entry. Well, and, and, and part of the problem here is that this is what the Fed was arguing, and they refused to name these borrowers uh, because, well, it's just the fact that, well, this might upset people, and there might be a run by depositors, and uh, unsettled shareholders. Now, what's interesting about this, how this lawsuit came around, uh, and we're talking about uh, Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Uh, he sued on November 7th on behalf of the Bloomberg News Unit. And these are the people who are trying to get the Freedom of Information Act to find out where this money is going. And Matthew Winkler, 
He's the editor-in-chief of Bloomberg News. And he says, when an unprecedented amount of taxpayer dollars were lent to financial institutions in an unprecedented way, and the Federal Reserve refused to make public any details of its extraordinary lending, um, Matthew Winkler says, we're gratified the court is defending the public's right to know what is being done in the public interest. Now, what's at interest here is the whole interest system that we've talked about for eons here. 